I don't know why, but I have a feeling that something really bad is going to happen to me after talking about the topic of this video. Should I really do it? Sure, why not? I don't have anything else to lose, so who cares? By the way, it's great to be back. Hello everyone, Mr. Daydream here. Welcome to the show. If you're wondering why I seem a bit different today, it's because I'm actually in a good mood for once. Yeah, I realize that there is no point in worrying or stressing out about life, because in the end, everything will be alright. For the most part. Now the reason why I haven't made a video in a long time is because of depression. I spend a lot of my time just watching YouTube videos to ease my misery. I've been getting a lot into Vaporwave, Mortal Kombat, and videos of stupid people hurting themselves. I wonder if those particular genres mean anything. Eh, I'm not gonna dwell too much into it. Thinking can be hard sometimes. Like this is what happened to me the last time I tried to think. <laughs> but you wanna know what really flips my bacon? This whole PewDiePie vs. T-Series battle. It's needlessly pointless. People give it so much attention, which is really unfortunate because I feel like there are far more important things to talk about. Such as... Uh, cheese. Why they gotta have so many holes in them. For those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't, PewDiePie is a Swedish YouTuber who's been the most subscribed YouTuber for the longest time. However, this all changed when T-Series came into existence. Uh, oh, well, not really, because uh, they've actually been around uh, longer than that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, really weird, uh, but uh, uh, we'll get to that part later. T-Series is a company that promotes Indian music videos, trailers, and uh, a bunch of other things through YouTube. Who would have thought that these two completely different things would somehow come together? I haven't seen a more baffling combination since the cotton candy taco. Which is really good, by the way, but uh, not as good as the deep fried iced tea. So you might be wondering, why is T-Series called T-Series? Well, you see, the letter T comes after the letter S, and before the letter U. Now, the thing that surprised me the most about T-Series is that their YouTube channel has actually been around since 2006, with their oldest video being posted on late December of 2010. I don't know if they posted any other videos before that time. If they did, they probably removed them, which makes sense, because we all get embarrassed by some of our oldest content. Because they tend to be some of the cringiest things you'll ever see in your life. So have you ever wondered why it's like that? It's really a difficult process to explain. But yeah, it's really unexpected. Nobody really talked about T-Series until summer of 2018. At first, I thought the channel was barely a year old. But it's actually over 13 years old. Perhaps they've been a well-known label in India for years or... Uh, who knows? But for a channel to be around that long, to suddenly become one of the most subscribed channels on YouTube in a short period of time, does seem a bit shady to me. Especially considering how T-Series originally sold pirated Bollywood songs in the past. T-Series? More like P-Series. So where did T-Series get all those subscribers from anyway? Well, mostly from India itself, of course. If you have a good chunk of people from the second most populous country in the world subscribe to a certain channel, it'll be huge! And as we all know, the population of India is very, very high. It's something like over a hundred or something. So that's how T-Series became one of the most subscribed channels on YouTube, which I honestly find weird because there do exist other Indian music labels on YouTube. So why was this the chosen one? If anything, the most subscribed Indian label should have been Sony Music India Vivo because they're the ones who posted this timeless classic. <laughs> Now 
now, just to make one thing clear, I'm not saying that it's just people from India who are subscribed to T-Series. I bet a good chunk of it comes from neighboring countries, foreign countries, other planets, or heck, I bet there are plenty of Americans who are subscribed to T-Series, and that's completely fine. Don't let others judge you for your own preferences. Or your taste in bizarre foods. Now, the most ridiculous part about this battle are the live streams that focus on the sub counts of both PewDiePie and T-Series. Yeah, that's right. A live broadcast that shows both numbers slowly increase or decrease. Truly the greatest battle in our lifetime. These people seem to think that as long as T-Series isn't the number one subscribed channel on YouTube, it'll never win. But really, in the end, does the subscriber count really matter? T-Series is already raking in millions and millions of views. Do they really think that T-Series would quit YouTube completely just because they're not number one? Both channels have over 90 million subscribers. But if you look at the views on their videos, a majority of them don't even come close to that number. At this point, I feel like a lot of these people who partake in this battle are just creating a bunch of alternate YouTube accounts by using different email addresses. Or heck, they might even go as far as to use Subbot. Which is very bad indeed. It's a complete waste of time. And for what? So a YouTube channel can officially have the title of most subscribed channel of all time? It doesn't mean anything substantial. It's not like it'll make you king of the universe or anything like that. This is a battle for a title. A title. For a video sharing website. Now, some of you might think that I'm the kind of guy who likes to sit back and munch on popcorn while watching this epic battle of cosmic proportions unfold. And the answer is no. Why? Well, first of all, I'm all out of popcorn. And secondly, I have better things to spend my time on. There is no epic battle to speak of. It's really lame when you think about it. You're just watching two sets of numbers constantly change. And there are thousands of people who watch this kind of stuff. Just... Uh, huh? Having over 90 million subscribers may sound impressive. But what's the point when a majority of those people have absolutely no intentions of watching your videos? Exactly. Overall, this whole thing comes down to preference. If you like this kind of stuff, that's fine. If you don't like this kind of stuff, that's fine also. We all have different tastes when it comes to entertainment. Even if it means watching a bunch of numbers. As for me, I'm not subscribed to either PewDiePie or T-Series. Why? Well, I'm simply not interested in their content. Simple as that. And I certainly don't want to subscribe just to support some stupid battle that's never going to end. The only way this battle will ever end is if one of these channels were to get terminated. So I hope we're cool about this. Like, I hope you don't want to come over to my place, cut my head off, and mount it over a fireplace. Because that would look ridiculous. I mean, with a face like this, why bother? What the heck? Hey man, how come you're not subscribed to PewDiePie? What's you need wrong with you? To you need to support T-Series. This isn't good. I need to get out of here. Quick, to the angry fanboy protection chamber. Well, I'm glad this was worth the investment. Now I just gotta wait until this whole madness settles down. Man, they sure are creating a lot of havoc in there. As long as they don't touch my leftover bean burrito in the fridge, I should be fine. Now then, this is where I'm going to conclude. Overall, you can do whatever you want, even if it seems like it goes on forever. Just don't let it take control of your life to the point where you lose control. And also, it's completely fine for you to disagree with someone who has a different opinion than you. That's fine. You can even disagree with the things I say. I don't care. I'm just a big-nosed freak on the internet. Take it for what it's worth. But if you hate someone so much to the point to where you send hate mail, death threats, or wreck that person's house, then you are the one with a problem, because you're letting mere words get the best of you. And that just shows how weak you truly are. <sighs> but I have to be honest. 
If I have to choose between PewDiePie and T-Series, I'll probably go with PewDiePie because he's a genuine content creator. He makes original content. That's what YouTube is all about. Or, well, used to be about. I'm not too fond of corporate businesses taking over the platform, especially with something like T-Series. They post nothing but existing videos of music, trailers, and more. It's a promotional channel, that's all it really is. You're watching ads. It's all an ad. <sighs> Regardless, I just hope that this stupid battle will be over sooner than later, because if I end up having to see that live sub count video for the millionth time in my recommended videos, I think I might go on a rampage, and that's something that this protection chamber cannot handle. Speaking of which, are those home records gone now? I don't hear anything. I guess the coast is clear. Let's check it out. <sighs> well, this sucks. My house is gone. Ugh. Is there anything good after all this? Hey, it's my leftover burrito. <laughs> I guess it's all good now. <laughs> 